the sheriff has arrived and as you can see all the bodies have gone yeah we an entirely baddie free since you arrived and they also heard it was coming and they thought scott man is arriving today <laughs> and let's see what's the next chateau on my list what do you mean next chateau there's no next chateau somebody's going to clean up these chateaus <laughs> oh no quandary our tabla dot guests are about to arrive i finished cooking and we've prepared the table but now i have to rush out because a local antiques dealer has offered to open his depot specially for me I hope Natalia will be able to take over here. Yes, I've managed to sneak off to preview the sale. Here we are, there's the ruins of the old Chateau de Saint-Sever. The sale is in this new chateau. And the old chateau always slightly creeps me out because nearly a thousand years ago, one of the owners of Lalande was murdered because he'd failed to pay taxes to one of the owners of that chateau. But I'll tell you more about that at another date. Wow, wow I've stepped into Aladdin's cave. I'm so glad I made the effort to come. Well, this is what I call a poor can't, We can't even get in, there's so much furniture. I can't convey how creepy and exciting it is. We're literally wandering around with our iPhone torches, finding treasures. Look at the prices, 65 euros for a wardrobe. I'm really hoping to find furniture for the new apartment I'm creating for Mummy at La Lande. Stephanie, it's nearly 11 o'clock. I've been sitting here waiting since 8 o'clock for you. Nonsense! I, I've had Natalia, haven't I? We've been sitting waiting for <laughs> so long. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nearly 11 o'clock. There's a full 10 minutes before 11. I'm up very early today, I think. <laughs> really? Okay, it's time for pancakes. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. And as you can see, Stephanie is doing a wonderful job of making the Scotch pancakes. I emphasise the word Scotch pancakes because that's the best pancakes ever in the world. Jerry won't let me make English pancakes. He won't eat an English pancake. I didn't say that, Stephanie. Don't throw me under the bus, darling. You do that so often. He's also a bit worried about my sleeves. He thinks we're going to go up in flames. Yeah, that, uh, that I am quite they're, concerned they're quite about. They're from the hob. Hmm, I don't know. It looks like the place is going on fire. But not my sleeve. Natalia, please have the fire extinguisher ready. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> she, she's ready with the fire flames. blanket. And today, is this going to be the attire for the whole day? Well, actually, we have visitors coming to scout the chateau for possible location for a gastronomic tour next year, so I might actually have to get What dressed. time are you expecting the, the guests? I don't know, but I'm. it's now quarter to 12. I'm hoping that they won't come till the afternoon. Oh, oh well. It's quite soon. <laughs> I don't know when they're coming. Don't worry, I'll cover for you. At least they see the reality if they turn up. Yeah, now. I'll cover for you. Thank you. Well, have you seen what you're wearing? This is not... Hi, welcome. I'm in my dressing gown and this is my brother. <laughs> yeah, well, where it is, I heard there was a radiation leak this morning. <laughs> and I'm getting ready to go out and look for the nuclear waste that has fallen. Mummy, come back. The wheels have come off without you. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy's going to see this and we'll be in trouble. What do you mean, we? We will be in trouble. No, you mean you'll be in trouble. No, because you're leading me astray and letting me just faff around in my nighty. Yeah, that's okay. Because mummy knows I wouldn't do anything like that. She knows she adores me. Oh, you're so slimy. A table, tout le monde. Merci, ma petite chérie. <laughs> As it's a peaceful day, I've just been sitting in the kitchen calmly and I've suddenly realised that this cupboard just isn't working. I think that the colours are all wrong in the kitchen. So? On a whim, Jerry and I are going to quickly paint it now and see if we can make it look a little bit prettier. Looking good, Gerald? Good. Can we get the paint? So we've split everything into things that are allowed to go back in the cupboard, only things that are white or white and gold, and things that aren't, which are still sets that I really love, but that have to be stored somewhere else now. Because I basically have the EU Paint Lake here, I'm now not allowed to buy any more paint for the house, without checking first to see if there's something I can use. And sometimes I buy things with no idea of what I could use them for, just because they're on special offer, like this. But I think it's finally time for Jubilee Blue to have its moment of glory. Oh no, we were doing 
so well, but now my favourite Royal Copenhagen mug is broken and I don't know if I can function without it. I would turn to pancakes in distress, but... The pancake pile has gone down, and does that have anything to do with the fact that Thor has come round? Yes, it is, absolutely. <laughs> Possibly so, just the one, just a Susan. We know how to look after ourselves. So now there's two superheroes in the house. Hurrah, hurrah for us. Right, Thor and who else? Scott Man! We are. <laughs> has he arrived? Tell me. Is there me. a Scottish person in the house? It's impossible to tell. Harold just brought me a cup of tea. And he's told me that he's done the third coat of the cupboard. So we're hoping just one more to go, but way, way more excitingly than that. He's glued my mug back together. It's guaranteed for three cups of tea. <laughs> well, that's already three cups more than I would have had. Oh, I'm happy. Good, darling. Good. Drink your tea, sweetheart. Well, aren't you going to stay and chat with me? Time to feed the moat monsters. Now, Stephanie, what exactly are you going to be feeding the fish today? I give the fish all of our old bread. Oh, I thought it might have been some people who you haven't really been behaving themselves. No, the baddies are all already in here. Oh, are they good? Yeah, they clear them. It's like piranhas. They clear them in seconds. Okay, dear. Are you ready? You ready for the fish? Yeah. Da 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 we did it. Well, this is the, the 16th century crockery, which was built in about 1014. Utter nonsense everywhere. Don't listen to a thing he says. This is the collection of Spode and a couple of plain white things that weren't really standing out before. So I think it looks way prettier against the blue. Here's some of the treasure that I bought in that Aladdin's cave the other night. It's a set of Christophe Le silver-plated cutlery dating from 1935, and it was just piled up. I was told that there wasn't a complete set, but in fact, it's full for six people. It's incredible. I've been doing loads of research online this morning, and it seems it was designed by a man called Luc Lanel, who was a great Art Deco designer for Christophe in the 20s and 30s. It's just beautiful Art Deco lines. And apparently he also wrote a book on the art of dressing a table properly. So of course I've managed to find an old copy of that, which I've now ordered to be delivered to the chateau. What a bargain for only 70 euros when a new set by Christophe would be thousands. And for an extra 40, I even managed to buy the little wooden chest of drawers to store it all in. I'll show you as soon as it gets delivered. But in the meantime, here's a photo I found online. I can't wait to fill it. Wow, this is so exciting. Oh, que c'est beau ce que vous avez fait. So shiny. Ça change. Madame Poupin is an absolute miracle worker. <laughs> <laughs> Merci beaucoup. C'est magique. C'est magique.